Hey guys, welcome back to another video with me, Louise Egan from WinnerWordPress.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Stripe on your WordPress, on your WooCommerce um, kind of account and on your WooCommerce store. Um, it's something that is very, very handy because it allows you to let people actually check out on your um, website rather than being directed redirected to PayPal or whatever it is um, and having to make an account and all that um, it just makes the checkout process easier for people and they also have less fees in PayPal as well so it's very very handy um, so let's get started so as I said today I'm showing you how to basically set up Stripe on your WooCommerce store so what Stripe allows you to do is to actually kind of embed your uh, form for taking card details onto your website so people can put their details in directly on your website without having to be re redirected to let's say paypal or whatnot so it's very very handy and it's a very good uh tool to have on your website so the first thing i want to do is you want to go to plugins and then you can go down to plugins and you can actually just go up the top and install a new plugin called uh so click on add new and the name of it is um, I'm using WooCommerce, so it's WooCommerce Stripe Gateway. That's the name of the plugin. You can install this and activate it. And then once you go into your Woo WooCommerce settings, there'll be something about um, basically Stripe in there. So that's activated now. So once you go into, as I said, once you go into your WooCommerce, you can go to settings. And then you can go down to checkout. And you can see here, if, once I let it load, uh, you can see here in checkout, there's so many different options. And then once you install the Stripe gateway, there's loads of different options that they give you in terms of paying with Stripe. Um, I'm just going to just set up the normal Stripe. You can go through the other ones if you want and have a look at them. Maybe the, the direct debit might be helpful. But um, for now, I'll just go through Stripe itself. So you can just click on Enable Stripe. Give it a title. Now, I like to give it a title, um, something like Secure Payment or you know, uh, safe and secure card payment or something like that. I prefer to do that rather than just credit card because sometimes uh, when people see checkouts, you know, obviously everybody knows PayPal, everybody recognizes PayPal, but sometimes when people see checkouts on websites, they might not know the website and they might not see it as being very trustworthy. Uh, but Stripe actually have lower fees. So you kind of want to encourage them to do this one. So if you can, I'd say just put in safe and secure payments and all that sort of thing. Try and make them as at ease as possible. So uh, you can have your test mode or your live mode. So I'm just going to show you how to set up the test mode, but it's the exact same for the live mode. What you want to do is you want to go to your Stripe dashboard and log in. And then you can go, come down here to developers and API keys. And you can toggle between your test data. And once you turn this off, it'll show you your live data, which will be the key you'll actually use for taking payments. And then you have your publishable key. And then you can click on this and reveal your, your uh, secret key. So then you can put in your publishable key and your secret key in here and if you want to put in your live ones you can just untick this and it have you have your live publishable key then uh, so you can put in your keys and that will basically link the two together uh, so inline credit card form me basically means that your credit card like as I said will actually be on your page otherwise they'll click on a button and a little thing will pop up and they can just put their credit card in there Statement descriptor is what it's going to say on your customer's statement, uh, on their bank statement after they buy. So, you know, something like your business name would be good. Capture charge immediately, I would leave that ticked. Um, I'm not sure what 3D secure is, to be honest. Um, an extra security layer. So you can uh, enable that if you'd like. Uh, they can use 3D secure. Stripe checkout, uh, you can enable that if you'd like. It just means that it's going gonna, it's gonna to actually link to stripe and then check out within stripe if you'd like to do that payment request buttons uh you can leave that and then the payment request button is going to say bye um and then you can have your your what what where you want the payment request button to look uh the height of it and then you can enable payment via saved cards if you'd like to and then log debug messages if you'd like so you can literally just save your changes then and that's it your stripe is actually set up on your uh, Word, wordpress website on your woocommerce store and people can pay directly using their card so this is really really good and really really helpful um i like to do the two of them together with paypal and stripe and give people an option but it's completely up to you but at least now it's set up and you can do whatever you want with it so thanks so much guys i'll see you in the next video so there you have it guys i hope you had no problem setting up your stripe on your woocommerce store um as i say it's a great great solution in terms of e-commerce and it's really really helpful um so if you'd like to check out my video in terms of how to set up paypal i like to have both um there, i'll do a, bit, a link in the description and there should be a video around here somewhere um at the end in terms of 
um, link in your PayPal. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. That would really, really mean a lot, guys. It would really help me to continue to grow this channel and to help you with my best work, uh, WordPress content. Um, don't forget to let me know in the comments if there's anything at all that I can help you with in terms of WooCommerce or WordPress. I am more than ha happy to help you. Uh, thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.